everybody, Diecast and Lego here, coming to you with another questions answered video. Uh, as you may note, I have the GMC Top Kick tree trimming truck with me. Uh, you may be wondering why I have that here. That relates to my first question, but first, let me put out a little statement. I want your questions. If you have any questions, give them to me in the comments bar. Uh, I'm open for any questions. Uh, I'll try to answer them as best as I can in these videos. Uh, so give me your questions. Uh, I, I want them. I want the questions. Okay. So the reason I have the James C. Top Cake tree trimming truck is this is a diecast related question that I got. And it states, uh, Dear Tyke Gaston Lego, I'm confused about licensed models. Uh, uh, I'm confused about licensed models, Matchbox creations, and fantasy models. Can you help with that? So, here's the answer to that question. Licensed models are... Hold on a second, let me see if I can get a box. Licensed models are licensed by a certain company. Here, this is the business class tanker. This is licensed by Freightliner. So this model that we have right here, because it is licensed by Freightliner, that means that nobody created it. In fact, there's a good chance that you can drive around and see a model similar to this one, functioning in or near wherever you live. The same with the GMC Top Kick. That's uh, licensed by GMC, General Motor Corporation. So you can strongly see versions like this. Maybe if you don't see it, maybe you see a uh, like a Ford. But these are uh, very strong chances that you can see these models because they're licensed by something. Now Matchbox Creations. Here we have. The crop sprayer. Crop sprayers do exist. Just they didn't get anybody to license them, meaning that it's a matchbox, a matchbox creation. Also, Hot Wheels does the same thing, or Maisto, or Jada, or any other thing like that. They have. Sometimes they can't get anybody to license them, so they create similar models. Notice it doesn't have any licensing on it or anything. Uh, you can see on some models it'll have the name, like Freightliner, on it. This one, it doesn't. We'll just make up names, like Master 120. Also, I have the MBX Excavator. Another thing to tell if you have real working rigs, if you want to see if it's uh, Matchbox Creation or licensed, see if it says MBX in front of it. That way, if it says MBX, it's most likely a Matchbox creation, because MBX is short for Matchbox. So, on the GMC Top Kick, it doesn't say Matchbox GMC, or MBX tree trimming truck. It says the GMC Top Kick tree trimming truck. So this is the MBX excavator. We all know excavators do exist. In fact, we can see them often wherever we go but no licensing on this model. Now, fantasy models are models that only customize what exists. Uh, I don't have any of those models with me right now, but things like the Jungle Expedition Truck from the Real Working Rigs line, or the new Firestalker, those uh, pretty strongly have not been created yet. So, that's the first question. And the second question have to, has to relate with right here. Uh, somebody asked me if they had, if there are two channels with the same title, Diecast and Lego. No, it's just, uh, this is my house right here where I'm shooting this. And you can, sometimes you'll see a little bit of a uh, floor or a tan Toby colored 
uh, wall. That's my room uh, where I shoot these videos. But if you see sort of like a, a tannish carpet with like a black tray, that is at my grandparents' house where I also receive models. So those are the two places you're most likely to see just two different settings, but they're from one channel, and that is Diecast and Lego, right here. So, sorry about the confusion. I uh, didn't really think of that when I did it. Just, that's the most convenient instead of having to uh, take things over to my house from my grandparents' house and then forget something and it would be all screwed up. But, uh, that's just two different houses. Then the other one, you may be hearing two different voices. That's because uh, my little brother also works with it. Uh, it. Helps me with my channel. So sometimes you'll hear him on some videos. And sometimes, well most of the time, you'll hear me doing videos. So, that's what it is. That is uh, three questions. Um, also, the fourth and final question is just about my collection of Lego. Somebody asked me... Uh, how much spare time I have because they said it seems like I'm always coming up because I modify models and stuff. I have quite a lot of spare time. Uh, the school that I go to does not have Fridays, so that gives me a whole day, three days on the weekend, to uh, make videos for you guys. So send in your questions. I enjoy your questions. Uh, it That's four questions. Happy to answer them. I uh, hope that helped. Uh, so, until next time, bye-bye.